what your glasses and your instrument is. Well, let's see. Um, 50 cents. Okay. So I don't even... <laughs> no worries. You know I'm fair from when the sure, last Sure, yes. Um, I don't know, I think. $10. Okay, thank you. There's a bunch of coats. I didn't have. My oh, hanger, okay. They're really heavy, so my hangers are not like. Gotcha. Keeping them up. <laughs> no worries. Normally with display it. Yes, yes. Hanger I'll dig through. Thank you very it. much. <laughs> goes with the with, with the actual fencing okay yeah. and i told the guy earlier 15. okay and then i was like i don't know why you didn't want it. sure i can do <laughs> i can do 15. that sounds very fair thank you yeah, with all, exactly yeah, with all the bits and pieces oh thank yeah. you i'm just compiling up <laughs> are you just kind of working through bringing new things out every time or oh yeah yeah, yeah this time i have men's clothes Oh, gotcha. So, okay. I was like, and some winter stuff. Yeah. Gloves, gloves and stuff. Right. I try. Yes. I try to not make it the same stuff. Yeah. Like it's a process, though. Yeah. Gosh. Are they? Yeah. That's nice though. What kind of dogs do you have? Three pit bulls. Oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. I bet yeah. you do feel protected. That's awesome. Two girls and a boy. Nice. I've never, thank God, been in a situation. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I have not, no. I've done half marathons, but I've never done the full marathon distance. So fingers crossed, we'll see. Do you do it for a No, I'm not this time. I just signed up in general, but I think moving forward, I probably would do actually like run with the charity. Yeah. It's a challenge, we'll see. It gives yeah. me mama time, like the way. Yeah. <laughs> I think I go on a long run, sorry guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm sure I'll see you the next one. <laughs> Thank you again. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you. So Hello, much. how are you? Good, thank you. Oh. <laughs> you have cash. Yeah, you have cash. I do have cash, yeah. No worries. Could I make a little pile? Would that be okay? Yeah. My hand's filled up right away. <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. Thank you. I wasn't sure how much these ones were. I couldn't see a price. Yeah, um, so these are both dark. So these ones were 10 and then these ones were 15. Okay. And then the um, chocos were also 15. 15, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, he is really cute. I wonder how much they are. Oh, all just a each. Oh, thank you. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Yeah. Oh, guy, it's lost. <laughs> Do you know how much this is? Yeah, hold on to it. <laughs> Matt, we got to get Matt. Careful. I'm your fault. You're going to get that, are you? Yes. Huh? Those are gas, gas cans. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like its own little road. Yeah. <laughs> what about your one is for this white Um, I think I have five on it. Huh? Watch this stuff. Huh? Watch this okay. stuff. Um. Mom, we yeah. got two gate bags. This got key and that this got key. All right. We'll have to uh, wash them up when we get home, okay? Mm -hmm. And we just get well, cold. I think we're ready if you have a second. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so that was two, and then those were quite each. So that's 75. These were 40 altogether. And then these two things as well. Yeah, okay, so then was that 25? Oh, 50. 50 cents? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you want to call it 50? Yep, that works okay. for me. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll give you your hanger back as well. Oh, thank you. All right, and you guys want to hit up the snack table real quick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. 50. Thank, thank you, you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, my me. All right, you guys, well, welcome to the haul. So I have, I think, two yard sales here. Um, one I've actually been to multiple times now, but they keep bringing out new stuff. So I will keep returning. Um, and she's lovely. And we've kind of gotten to know each other now, chit chatty uh, every time I turn up. Um, and the other one was a new one to me. And the prices were a little bit higher than I am usually comfortable with. But the items were good enough that I went ahead and just snagged them anyway. So let's dive in. So starting over here with uh, this repeat yard sale. So we have the brand Armstrong. This is obviously a flute um, and I need to figure out exactly. Oh, it probably says right here. 
Oh my goodness, I'm going to need my glasses. I think it says 104 as like the sort of, I don't know, model number, if you like. Um, anyway, when I looked at comps, one of these was going for around, uh, had sold recently for around $80 or so. So this was 10 I went ahead and snagged that. I got two jackets, this absolutely gorgeous 80s leather bomber jacket. Like, I can't tell you how good and like buttery this leather feels. Uh, the brand is Adam Spencer. I am not familiar with that, but just the 80s bomber jacket aesthetic with the quality. I did grab that for a dollar. And then this piece right here, now it's not in perfect condition. There are the odd little, you know, holes and whatnot because this is a wool jacket and it is vintage, but it's vintage wool rich. Um, and it is, I think, yes, 100% wool. And obviously it's the black and red plaids. So despite it having the odd hole, for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. All right, I also grabbed from there a couple of sweaters. Again, we have another one here, just like I'd got from there previously. Nice uh, double collar, very, very 90s, cutesy little sort of cottage core graphic on it. And then I just thought this was cool. This is not a brand I pick up very much. It's 70% wool. This is definitely vintage. And I just thought that the uh, knit print on it, whatever you want to call it, like the colorway was really, really neat. So I just threw that in as well. And that was, I think, 50 cents. 50 cents for these glasses. They're kind of like, um, I don't know, I guess like like protective glasses the brand is Bushnell uh, I'm not familiar with it but looking at comps they did look to be doing quite nicely so for 50 cents we those in and then for $15 I snagged this brand new in the packet it is American Farm Works 2 Miles Electric Fence Controller and um, again I think I'm looking at around $100 or so for this um, and she did throw in some of this like electrical fence tape as well um, so I may this one's I think not new but I may throw this in with it I'm not too sure otherwise i might just donate these but for 15 dollars, definitely worth snagging and giving this one a try and then from this yard sale i spent 60 dollars total and that oh and this sorry my bad this was also from that same yard sale with the uh, the flute and the electric fence thing just little winnie the pooh dressed up as a christmas tree um he would probably only be good for 12 to 15 dollars my kiddos are snagging him for sure <laughs> okay and now on to the other yard sale. So I spent $60 total on just the items here, plus a bunch of plush toys and stuff like that that my kids threw in the box as well. Um, so I'm considering it $60 for everything here. So first of all, we have this little vintage um, sort of wicker chair. These can do quite nicely, maybe like, I don't know, 15 to 25, something like that. This one's a bit bigger. People like them for either sitting dolls or you know Winnie the Pooh plush on there or also like plant pots and things like that I got one vintage windbreaker with this cool like palm tree print all over it and then I got three pairs of shoes but I'm pretty sure that I can sell just the checos and make back the majority of my $60 so these are the full back ones they do need a little bit of a wipe down but they are this green and brown southwest style print women's size nine they technically were $15. And I don't mind to pay $15 for Chacos if they are the ones with the actual uh, straps at the back and they're in decent condition and they're a decent size because they will still sell for around $50 to $60. And then we have two pairs of Doc Martens. So we have this pair here that's a little bit beaten up and does need to be gone over with some Doc Martin Wonder Balm, but they're the nice sort of like above the ankle ones. And then we have these as well where they are like the leather strappy uh, gladiator style sandals. Again, Doc Martens. And I think they were $15 and they were 10 but I'm positive that I have a good amount of profit in there and obviously I have a few other items in there as well to help me regain that profit so I'm not just depending on the shoes alone if that makes sense it all comes out in the wash when it comes to yard sales all right you guys that is everything from today's yard sales if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you want to come along with me to more garage sales to find dirt cheap things to flip online for a profit then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video and you never miss a yard sale and I will catch you in the next one bye